the ridiculous who'll take their place on the world stage this New Year's Eve will be perhaps New Zealand's best love band ever. Yes, split ends are unsplitting for a special millennium concert in Gisborne. It's six years since split ends last played together, 15 years since they officially broke up, and 27 years since Tim Finn, Phil Judd and Mike Chun first formed the band. I asked Neil Finn and Eddie Rayner whether they've often been asked to give it another go. We do get offers um, through for Split Ends to do quite a lot of different things. Um, do we? But it does, of course, covers, samples, remixes. If a single word encapsulates the music industry at the end of the 20th century, that word could well be repeat. This is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but a reunion. We do really need something pretty special to get us to consider coming back. A, we're living in different countries, we don't get to see each other very often, and it's not easy to coordinate. But B, it's sort of, we don't want to be the band that just keeps turning up and trotting through the old um, songs, classics though they may be. That they are classics now is beyond dispute. 1979, I See Red was released. Rob Muldoon was Prime Minister. Carlos Days had just been introduced. And against such dull paternalism, Split Ends offered exuberant, sometimes perfect pop tunes. Songs that almost gave us a sense of ourselves as worldly. Squeeze me out of your life. Now, two decades later, they're back. Forty-somethings, fathers, older and probably wiser. So will history repeat? What can those in Gisborne expect on New Year's Eve? They'll get the full kit and caboodle. And we've only got one gig to, uh, to get it right, so we'll be going, you know, all the stops will be pulled out. And, and how will you dress? Um, Creations from the House of Crombie, I guess. Yes. yes. Noel yes. is... Um, there's been murmurings of lame and uh, glitter, but we're not sure what's going to emerge yet. No, you can never tell with Noel. He's very unpredictable. He is, yeah. Um, the, the girth may be slightly broader than it used to be. <laughs> not much, lads, not much. <laughs> what about songs? No new songs? It will all be old stuff? Oh, there could be a little... Me we, 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 you know, a special occasion and all that, we might try and crank out something new for the occasion. A, a millennium sort of song? Oh, it might be totally unrelated to the millennium, but it'll be the millennium that gives us mm. the, the incentive. The organisers would like us to come up with something new, and we, we're going to have a little bit of a bash together at some point in the near, near future and see what transpires, you know, something good, something uh, worthy might come out of it. And if it does, would you release that as, 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 a, as a CD or whatever? It's good enough. Mm. So, so, so we are hearing now there is the potential for a new split ends release. Uh, well, let's not get too <laughs> <Let's> ahead <laughs> of ourselves. We haven't recorded anything yet, but we're going to have a crack at. Um, we're going to try and make the experience of playing the gig a bit more real by playing, uh, try, trying to see if there's any, you know, something new that can be played out on the night. And if it's really good, we'll release it. If it's no good, we'll leave it. Mm -hmm. 